Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and now in this video we will start with string expression as a replacement of concatenate. You all know concatenate is a string operation which is used to combine the strings. If you do not have the knowledge of concatenate string operation, you can simply refer the playlist of a BAP programming part one. There you will get the detailed explanation of concatenate string operation. Now what SAP is saying, in SAP a BAP new syntax rather than concatenate, we need to use the string expressions rather than using the concatenate string operation to combine the strings. We need to combine the strings using string expression now. Now, whenever you will use the string expression, you need to use the pipe symbol at the starting and at the end. Whenever you are going for string expression, you need to use the pipe symbol at the starting and at the end. Now on your keyboard, the pipe symbol is below the backspace button. If I will show you the sample code, you can easily see. This is the pipe symbol. We have the pipe symbol at the start. We have the pipe symbol at the end and in between this pipe symbol, we have the string which we want to combine or which we want to concatenate. Now the next important point, if you have the variables, if you are using variables, they must be enclosed in curly brackets. Just see the example as of now. When we have not used the variables, so what we did, we simply, simply pass the string in between this pipe symbol at the starting and at the end. But if you are using variables, suppose this LV input one, this is a variable which has this value. This is variable which has this value. This is the variable which has this value. So whenever you are using variables, so variables must be enclosed between the curly brackets. We have the pipe symbol at the starting and at the end. That is always, always true. But if you are using variables, they must be enclosed between the curly brackets. Now the next point is important because of that, Many people will get the syntax error. There must be a space between the variable and the bracket. Have you seen? I gave a space here. I gave a space here. Here, 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 here. So there must be a space between the variable and the curly bracket. Now, what are the main advantages? So if I will read the theory before I will go for the advantage. Yes, we have a pipe symbol at the starting and at the end. The variables must be enclosed in curly brackets. Yes, and there must be a space between the bracket and the variable. Now we will come on to the advantages. If we will use the string expression, what are the various advantages of using string expression to combine the strings rather than concatenate? So the first important advantage is there is no need of using separated by if you are using string expression. But in case of concatenate, if you want to give the separator you need to use the keyword separated by those who have the knowledge of concatenate, they can easily, easily understand. Suppose if I will show you the example, 
Suppose I am combining these three strings using concatenate string operation. If I want to give a separator, separator means separator can be comma, it can be dot, it can be space, it can be hash. So whenever you want to give the separator, you need to use the keyword separated by and after that you can give the separator. It can be space, it can be hash, it can be comma, it can be dot. So if you are going for concatenate, you need to give the separator using separated by. But if you are using string expression, there is no need of using separated by. Suppose simple example, if I want to give the space, I will just give the space. So it will display the space. I will give the space, it will display the space. Suppose if I want to go for hash, so I will simply write hash. If I want to go for hash, I will simply write hash. So there is no need to use separated by. Whatever you want to display, just write it as it is. So it will display in the same fashion. Anyways, whenever we will do the practical, you will get the more more clarity. Now the second point is very important. And any interviewer who is asking that you have you worked on string expression. So yes, if you are saying yes, so they will ask this question. What is the main advantage you see in case of string expression? Now we will go for a understanding. You all know the string operations only work on character data types, character data types. So what are the character data types? C is a character data type. N is a character data type. D is a character data type. T is a character data type. String itself is a character data type. Character, numeric, date, time and string. They are called as your character data types. If you do not have the knowledge of character data type and numeric data types, you can simply, simply refer the playlist of a back programming part one. So your string operations are only only applicable on these character data types only. Now the question comes, if we are getting a numeric data type, then in that case, what we need to do? In that case, you need to do the type casting. Type casting means you need to use a variable which is of character data type and you can use in the concatenate. Suppose if I will show you the example, anyways, we will do the practical. Suppose simple example. You can see from VBAK table, we are fetching VBELN and NEDWR. This VBELN is a character data type. But NETWR, this is amount, it is a numeric data type. Now, if I want to apply the concatenate string operation, I can never, never apply on NETWR. Whenever I will directly apply on NETWR, I will get an error because NETWR is a numeric data type. It is not a character data type. So in that case, have you seen what I did? I firstly pass this numeric data type to this character data type variable. This LV amount is character data type C. And I am using this while concatenating. So whenever you will apply the string operation, they are only, only applicable on these five character data types. If you are getting a numeric data type, numeric data type is packed, decimal, integer, float point. In that case, firstly, you need to pass the value to character data type and you need to use that. That is called as type casting. You are passing that data from one type to another type. But if you are using string expression, there is no need. Have you seen? I use the string expression. This is VBELN. This is NETWR. 
I'm directly passing the result. So there is no need of type casting at all because your string expression works on character data types also. It works on numeric data types also. And this is the most, most important point. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with string expression as a replacement of concatenate. Concatenate is a string operation which is used to concatenate or to combine the strings. Now what SAP is saying, rather than concatenate, you need to use now string expression to combine the strings. Whenever you will go for string expression, use pipe symbol at the start and at the end. And in between this, you can pass the string, whatever the string you want to combine. But if you are using variables, they must be enclosed in curly brackets. And there must be a space between the variable and the bracket. And then we cover the advantages. If you are using string expression, there is no need to use separated by. You can directly give the space, whatever the space you want to give. And the second is most important advantage. There is no need of type casting at all because your string expression works on every data type. It can be numeric, it can be character, but your string at operations are only, only applicable on character data types. So if you are getting a numeric data type, you need to firstly do the type casting. And have you seen at the starting itself, we covered the new syntaxes are more efficient. Means we can do same to same thing by writing the less number of lines of code. Now in the next video, we will start with the practical part and same practice. I will firstly show you concatenate, then I will simply go for string expression. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.